two owners, 7,860 pounds, and impeccably well kept. This 265 rear living Laredo is going to make someone a, uh, a, a very happy camper. This one's super traveling friendly, by the way. Even with that super slide closed, you notice you have a clear walkway to be able to get right through this thing. So if you want to uh, get it packed up, if you want to stop, or just anything you need, this one is full turtle friendly. It is loaded with windows. We've got nice, light, bright colors. Um, the uh, extra, I mean, the, the light pollution pouring in from all the big windows is actually making some of my camera work a little bit problematic. Uh, because it is so bright outside that uh, the, the camera has a hard time trying to figure out and compensate for that. This is a, a classic sort of combination rear entertainment, rear living. It's a slick floor plan. It, it's got a nice little his and hers thing in it. And, uh, you know, we've got all original factory furniture, but a lot of this has been very sparingly used. The original owners actually did not use the freestanding table and chairs. They just kept them stowed away. They didn't use the original his and hers chairs back here. They had their own chairs put in instead. So um, some of the furniture is, it, it is all used, but some of it's been very barely used. Um, the uh, folks that are, uh, you know, that brought this one to us, they had used it for seven weeks out in Arizona. They bought it, they used it one time, they bought it off the original owners, and uh, they found out very quickly. They weren't like new to camping, they were experienced RVers, but they found out very quickly. They love camping, but it's not the right floor plan for them. The layout just didn't work for them, unfortunately. That's the only reason it's here. They're gonna swap it out for something that just kind of fits their needs a little better. So, uh, like I said, you can see the camera getting light and dark. It's just from these giant windows. And I love the fact that we have all these giant windows. You got the big window out back for, uh, you know, lots of extra light and these double vertical windows right here overlooking your campsite. That is awesome. Your corner entertainment center right here, I love the positioning of it because it's very easy to see whether you're in the kitchen, whether you're in any of the chairs, the slide out, the sofa, the dinette. Uh, you can see everything there. So it, it's just got a very nice, easy flow and, and view to it. Um, the uh, uh, entertainment center down here, we've got our uh, DVD, CD, stereo, inside, outside speakers. This was made before Bluetooth kind of came into the equation, guys. But notice again, all the original electronics, all the original owner's manuals and everything are still present and accounted for. Those are really good indicators I've learned to look for. In my experience, people who keep track of owner's manuals they tend to maintain their RVs. Not 100% of the time. It's a guide. It's not a rule. But it is very rarely wrong. There's a reason that we follow guides. Because guides give you a good idea and this gives me a good idea. Now, the original owners custom ordered this with a lot of pretty snazzy stuff. You'll see a little bit more of it outside. Uh, but, like, these are true Corian countertops here. So that was a, a pretty snazzy upgrade for something like this. And this is a deceptively large counter. You want to look at it at a glance and say, there's not a lot of counter space there. But in addition to this extension, you notice how deep this countertop is. It just keeps going and going and going. So there's quite a bit there. Nice big floor-to-ceiling full wall pantry over on the side. Um, this uh, has dual section day and night shades, which is another one of those things you don't typically find in a smaller series fifth wheel like this. This also has a pretty good insulation package for something made uh, in this size. Um, it does say on the door that it's, it's designed for hot and cold camping. That being said, I am not aware of any actual hot and cold camp testing performed through the Laredo brand when this was made. So I, I can't make any hard promises there. This is also a full 80 inch uh, queen bed. So we do have a full 60 by 80 queen here, not the short camp queen. Um, that is uh, one of those things I like to point out in a, in a fifth wheel of this age bracket because sometimes that does vary. I also like to point out that uh, like I purposely left one of the day shades down over here. You still have a tool section day and night shades here in the master bedroom as well. Uh, spinning around, we got that extra little combination. This could be your entertainment center. This could be a bonus closet. Just uh, something that it's very functional and it fills out that corner space well. Private, um, like a closet style bathroom, I guess you could say, because this is a classic split bathroom, which was very predominant in fifth wheel production uh, at the time this was made. Um, it allowed the RV to be 22 inches shorter. That means much less weight, money, and it gives you a nice big space where you can actually stand here and get dressed. Now, the, uh, the shower, the sink, everything, it is all very clean in very nice shape. This actually has a, a, a big standing um, corner shower with a garden tub. Let me open that up. Another thing I've noticed, it's clean. People who take care of their RVs, 
clean their RVs. You know, the one is related to the other. And that also has that nice little seating area where, God forbid, you do need to sit down to bathe, you can. The one thing I did notice, and I always try to be fair, it's the slightest thing, though, guys. Uh, it looks like maybe the cold might have got to the shower wall surround paneling right here. That being said, there are very simple little like a turnabon type tapes and things like that that you can use to do a very low dollar fix to this that won't require you peel out the entire shower wall surround or anything like that. That's the only thing I found through the whole camper. I haven't even found like scuffs on cabinetry or anything like that. There's not scuffs on the flooring. This is clean. This is well kept. If uh, what you're looking for is something in, in like new shape, but you're on a used RV budget, holy cow, guys, this, this, this one's a find right here. Overall, I'd give the exterior a 9. The roof looks good. The sidewalls look pretty good. The only reason I don't give it a 10 is if you get really, really close here, some of the darker stripes on these decals um, did suffer a little bit of uh, weathering due to maybe that Arizona sun. But what you notice, guys, you can see how it's not flaking. That means that the previous owners actively cleaned and maintained this. Because when you go through and you clean and scrub and wash something, if it does start flaking, you naturally sort of uh, break off those flaking little corners. So that's, that's, again, one of those things I've learned to look for that says the people who own this, they used it, but they really, really took care of it. And I think that's... That's probably one of the most important things, is that it was actually well-kept and well-maintained. Um, very much like a, uh, a Cougar, which, you know, being a cousin to Laredo makes sense. It has this big, full, open pass-through storage up here, and you can really pack this sucker down. It's also a nice place to get to see that uh, all-aluminum structure on one of these. Um, the uh, Laredo series, actually like quite a few of the Keystones, it has kind of bounced back and forth between, uh, well there goes a motorhome leaving us, uh, it kind of has bounced back and forth between um, wood trusses and galvanized steel trusses, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to, to determine which generation this is, because it's really hard to try to pinpoint that stuff, because sometimes it can flip-flop even within model year. But the fact is, the roof is fully walkable, and it's, I mean, it's built well. We've seen used keystones come in sometimes that have maybe the flaking decals or whatever, but there's never anything wrong with them structurally. They do build a solid, solid product. Underbelly is enclosed. It is forced air heated, which is nice. It gives you that extra protection, not just for hot, cold camping, but also for uh, like road debris protection so that you don't have exposed gas lines, water lines, anything like that. You know, your gate valves are enclosed and protected. Now, one of the coolest things, and surprisingly, I've never seen this before, is that rear bumper. That is a power extension rear bumper cargo tray bike rack. I've seen cargo bike racks on the back, but they've always been this manual system that you have to wrestle out, and God forbid if that thing has even the slightest amount of um, uh, rust or corrosion or anything like that, it is, uh, they're, they're just a bear. I mean, you can throw your back out trying to wrestle with them. This thing is smooth as silk. And again, it's just one of those things where I look at it and go, dang it, this thing is well kept. They got the, the power awning on this, which well, this was about the generation where you started to see power awnings really come through. The good looking aluminum wheels. So they really put basically everything they possibly could into this thing when it was brand new. The second owners only had it for about a year and said, we love camping, we need a different camper. And here she sits, guys. That's it. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> so give us a call. Um, doesn't matter where you live, it's on wheels. And we only do everything at Haywood RV. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, and truck and trailer package deals and everything in between. So take care, stay safe. Have fun and happy camping, everyone.